Rock 100.5, The Cats, Jake, Bron Daler, Mastodon. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Man, dude, I can't believe you're here. I can't believe it either. We got told we were going to be here about two days ago, so, uh, yeah. But what was that like? You just had, like, a small hole in your schedule where, like, hey, we can do a fly-in. That's basically what you did? That's what we did. We basically said, uh, we talked to our, our TM, and they everybody got to work on it to see if we could even pull it off to get here to, to, to do this, and uh, they made it happen, so... We have an excellent crew, and they, they made this happen. So, yeah, yeah that's these why guys we're work hard. They're always in the studio making some tunes, and I guess we're about due for that eventually. You are due. Yeah, we're due, right? That's right, yeah. We've, we've been pretty tight-lipped about it, and uh, that's going to continue. Well, I for mean, just you're a couple going more days years now, right? Or yeah, we are. Um, Since Emperor of Sand, I guess, came out 2017. but Yeah, uh, so this will be our longest. And I think that if it weren't for the pandemic, we would have kept up with our you know two-and-a-half-year, yeah, three, three-year mark. Yeah. Plus, we did uh, a little extra touring on the last cycle. We Instead of stopping when we were going to stop, we decided to do a 10-year anniversary tour of Crack the Sky because a lot of people love that record. Of course. And, and we went out and did that. So that added on an extra bunch of touring for us that we wouldn't, nor- wouldn't normally do. Right. But then, So with that, combined with being on lockdown for so many months and... You know, um, it, it, it made it so that uh, the next record wasn't going to come out for a little longer than usual for us. But it'll be, it's going to come out very soon. And, w- and the, all, the, all the talking about it will, will happen very soon. So. Well, you know, over this gap since Emperor of Sand, Cold Dark Place has just been in my steady rotation. That's like my favorite EP of all time. It's right up there with the Beatles' first two, you know, the Four by the Beatles, those EPs and stuff. So Yeah, thanks, uh, man. Yeah, yeah that I really was a like great that short album, man. Just like a masterpiece. I love every one on there. You awesome, know? thanks. Cool. So, uh, yeah, so we're, I'm assuming getting some new music here eventually, but... Also because very soon, I swear, very, very soon. Promises. It's going to be like, I don't, you know, it's going to be it's, you know, day, days from now. I have a feeling there may be something happening. The gears are churning. I mean, you're obviously here, so you guys are going to do a great set tonight. I would imagine that as well. And uh, your book, Dave told me about the uh, your clown book. Yeah. Like, but do, you guys are always so funny anyways, you know, in the, in the videos. You guys are all humorous funny talented creative people you know and sure why not right so it's just one of your many skill sets in your uh, toolbox of life you know i mean you can sing you can play drums you can write songs you're on a soundtrack you know you know what i mean it's like hey let's do some art you can do whatever you want right yeah i guess so i mean i uh, when it came to the lockdown time i cracked my sketchbook open and started drawing some clowns and i started sending them out to some but of my why clowns, friends though? Huh? honestly you just always been a clown person or they intrigue you, maybe the the dark aspect of it. Or? A little bit of the dark. No, I, I wouldn't say it's too much. You know, I'm not really big fan of like clowns that are scary on purpose. Right. I like the ones that are just naturally themselves. Right. Yeah. And I like uh, regular circus clowns like like Lou Jacobs or Emmett Kelly or any of those kind of guys. There's um, a difference in clowns. I think that there. No, I mean there's there's you know your classic clowns and those guys right. are the those are the ones you know your felix the clown or bozo you know your yeah the tv celebrities right right right, right. Yeah. and the most famous clown of all ronald <coughs> yeah <coughs> or the right. richest clown in the world i like to call him <laughs> uh so but uh, the lockdown happened and i honestly hadn't stopped thinking about mastodon for 20 years you know what i mean my, right. my mind is always kind of fixated on that it's my main uh what i put all my sort of artistic energies into is Mastodon. Yes. But for the first time in that long period of time, uh, I was able to start, I thought about something else. So yeah, sort of an arti- your mind artistic yeah. monogamist, I guess. You yeah, know? exactly. And You're so, a side, side action. Yeah, I started drawing <laughs> clowns and they said, they said it was going to be for 14 days and they were going to open everything back up, right? Remember? Right, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 10 days in, it was like, yeah, that's not happening. So I just continued drawing them every day and I would send them to more and more people on my, in my phone, you know. Um, and uh, they seemed to like them. So, th- and then I would just have have ideas and ideas for new ones to do, and you know, hundred a hundred and one ran with it. A hundred and one days later, I had to fucking stop. You really did. Was, like one hundred and one is like, dude, I can't do another effing clown. Well, I couldn't because <laughs> Macedon started to get. St- we started doing stuff again, and we started refocusing on the material that we were working on before everything got shut down. So, I started. I was supposed to be at, at practice to start running through stuff and start demoing everything. And I'd be like, listen, when you get the clown, that means I'll be there in like 15 <laughs> minutes. 
<laughs> and so Troy and Bill and those guys are like sitting down at the space waiting for my ass to get done drawing my damn clown. So I come down and, and jam with them. So I was like, I can't do both things. Uh, right. So I, so the 101st clown is my dog who is a Dalmatian. <laughs> so if I had, hadn't had that 101 Dalmatian uh, clown as the last one, I'd probably still be drawing them right now because right. I, that was just a, a, a perfect little ribbon to tie around it and be like, okay, I'm done. Bye. Yeah. You know, I'm going to go do music again. But anyways, the book came out or, or is coming out and, 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 uh, the, uh, you know, the pre-orders up and all that good stuff. So yeah. Yeah. I noticed that you did a great job on putting packages together. Cause I think fans just love those little things you can do that just make them even more unique or special limit, whether you say it's a limited series or, uh, whatever people just love that stuff you know and it's just another part of the mastodon story yeah and your story man i love that uh, red death off that uh dc comics you know the the soundtrack that was great dude are you ever going to do any more stuff like that i don't know it depends it's like uh if anything comes my way that's like that or if i get a get a hankering to do something like that i, I will but usually i'm more focused on on Mastodon yeah, than, on than, the trying band. To, than trying to branch out and do other musical stuff. Well, I, really, I like I got my other band Arcadia that we do stuff occasionally, but I I, I really like being in Mastodon. It's fun and we work really hard on it. So I want to try to do as as much of my artistic energies I put into that. Pop. Absolutely, yeah. Anybody you know paying attention to the Mastodon story knows you guys are very dedicated. Yeah, and really, it's about the collective band as a whole. I mean, it, what you guys do on stage and in the studio. Everybody's, you know, contributing, and uh, it's unique. And I was telling uh, my girlfriend that, uh, you know, that, yeah, he sings and he plays drums, but they all sing, and they're, you know, they're, they're just that band. They're like a next, well, like a modern-day Floyd in a way without, you know, all the psychedelics, but like musical, time signature changes, all kinds of crazy stuff. What and do you mean you without sing. the psychedelics? The psychedelics <laughs> are in there. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's Braun from, uh, uh, yeah, dude, Mastodon, I can't believe it. What do you think, Josh? Playing Rocklahoma tonight, man. Cam, I know, is pumped about it. You pumped? I'm pumped. Yeah, you guys Mastodon fans? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about here. Rock 100.5, the cat. 